Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travel. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is fine. Um, the weather um, has been uh, sunny and cloudy today, so a mixture, um, about average temperatures. It's not too cold or too warm for this uh, or warm for this time of year so um hi if you're new here to my channel please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so um i'm extremely grateful today i'm going to be doing a budget travel special 10 exciting facts october 2023 part one and um a lot of these um I have um, mentioned before but um, I'll go over again um, some are extremely important and um, so um, this is according as well uh, to nomadicmap.com um, I'm using some of um, his tips and um, number one you can use the sharing um accommodate number one you can use the sharing economy to find the cheap accommodation quirky tour guides ride share options and um, have your own cook meals uh, with uh, local chefs number two uh, you can um knowledge uh, get knowledge from locals e.g um where is the cheapest supermarket which stores offer the best sales um and uh, where to find hole in the wall restaurants and and bars um again that are not too expensive um cafes etc and uh, number three um uh, these are the sharing um, apps and platforms uh, blah blah car ride is a car sharing app um, eat with platform um, that connects you with local cooks serving private meals and um, say I'd say an Airbnb or um, uh, yourself catering accommodation um, etc and um, camp space is um, a platform to let you uh, camp um, on private property so um, you can share the pro uh, the property with the owner and the owner allows you to camp on it and um, uh, for a fee um, of course but then that fee can be shared out for um, if you're traveling in a group or how many is traveling and, num uh, and uh, there's Toro car which is a car sharing marketplace that lets you rent out vehicles from locals um, so if you wanted to go on a day trip out um, again um, you can rent out a car or a camper van or something and get a go for a, trip, a day trip out and um, number four uh, get rail passes like JR at pass in Japan or Euro rail um, passes in Europe it's cheaper than booking individual trips it is um, especially if you travel by rail a lot In some cases you can also get bus passes as well um, people that are, um, are older um, are entitled to free bus pass as well so um, uh, 
and um, in this country you can get um, like student bus passes um, number five, are you student or other discount cards? Are you a student teacher under 26? Um, welcome to the world of 50% off attractions and uh, plethora of lots of discounts. So you can always or even if you're an older person um, then you can get discounts as well like uh, for pensioners mention that you're a pensioner and um, sometimes you can get um, say cheaper discount cards etc um, or attractions um, or maybe even out eating out so again if you're one of the following then it's worth um, checking out anyway whether you can get a discount um, number six uh, get a city if you're traveling to a city get a city tourist card planning seeing lots of sites in a city tourism card these will offer you a discounted or free access to major attractions and museums as well as free public transportation again well worth doing um, I'm going to see when I go to uh, Bath again Uh, whether I'll be able to get um, a city tourist card um, from the tourist information centre and uh, number seven uh, travel lack and uh, get free flights is by using a travel credit card for regular uh, spending on groceries, uh, restaurants, uh, at cafe shopping, um, but make sure you always pay it off in full. Uh, you can also earn free flights and hotel stays um, uh, by spending money that you'll also be spending anyway but so long as you pay the credit card like any other credit card off in full then you'll be absolutely fine and um, number eight uh, free walking take a free walking tour um, to uh, get to know the city because um, lots of cities offer free walking tours and um number n or you can like uh, what i do watch um, a lot of travel youtube videos and also uh, make them and it just it, you're just getting to know the destination um or get um, a travel guide book as well um uh, which i have done um upon water stones and I've used my water stone app um, and um, once you get so many uh, with with water stone um, it's about 10 once you get 10 uh, then you get um, a free 10 pound off like of um, something of uh, 10 pounds um, which again is a good way of saving as well especially if you read a lot of books um, number nine extremely important do not forget travel insurance the safety wing uh, best for everyone and um, does ensure my trip for those over well basically 70 or over or medjet for additional evacuation coverage um, 
or you can get uh, travel insurance with the company that you're traveling with or take the post office travel insurance it's up to you but i'd fully recommend uh, you getting a travel insurance for loss of luggage cancellation of flights or etc or holiday um, or if anything goes wrong you get ill uh, last but not least use your social network do you know anyone in the place that you're traveling to um, or basically anybody that's um, been to the place that you're traveling to and uh, they can state obviously where the best place is uh, to go and visit where they would go and visit um so especially if you know anybody that you're uh, that lives in the place that you're visiting then again uh, you can get a lot of insight and um, information so i would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now and i'll see you uh, tomorrow uh, for a luxury uh, travel special so Please keep watching and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.